Hi everyone. We have our letter from Brandy Kincaid here. This is a subscription called Extravagant Hope. This sticker says Hope is here and it's pretty extravagant. As you probably know, I do get this monthly and I really love it. I love um I love Brandy's messages. I love her writing. I love her aesthetic. It's all just perfect. So let's dive into this month's lilac envelope. And we have the first card. It says so much goodness is still ahead. If you didn't know, she handwrites these every month. And I think some people get different messages as well. So really lovely. And this is her little thank you card. It's gorgeous. I love it. And I've used these in my journals. Um, I have trouble sticking them down because I don't really want to use them. I mean, I don't want to waste them. It's not wasting, right? I'm using it for something I want to use it for. But, you know, I feel like I want to move it around. So still deciding how I'm going to um, use those all the time. And we have our letter from Brandy as well. I'm just going to read this and then we'll keep going. This month, the sticker looks like the pigeon. Yeah, this is the little pigeon from the back of the envelope. Little letter here says, dear you. That is very cute. Thanks, Brandy. It's another beautiful letter. It's funny how every month something in the letter just hits home there's this line here that says you're still you too but you're a you who's juggling joy and grief in different ways um <laughs> yeah that speaks very personally to me this month so thank you brandy okay let's have a look at what's next this cute daisy it says you are so very loved around the edge there it's so cute i love that with the blue background it's a sticker of course it's adorable. And then we have these four little cards. So much is temporary, temporary, erased away by the days, but we make our mark stretch, sketching out a life we love. Got this little pencil with the heart, beautiful words. Even the smallest stitches tether us, threaded together, mended by our making. I love how these are laid out, it's beautiful. <laughs> Maybe we won't paint the town, but we will paint our hearts. Alive with all the colours of our curiosity. Oh, two of those. Very sweet. Thanks, Brandy. All right, our memo for the month, July's Don't Forget. No one else knows how to be the best you, so trust that old heart of yours to keep pointing in the best direction and be all in. You are exactly who this world needs. I like these cards. Be all you. Uh, we have our playlist, Extravagant Hope, Volume 31, and cool i will dial this one up in the car next time i'm um driving okay so we have a couple of little book recommendations here mary oliver's a thousand mornings as long as you're dancing you can break the rules sometimes breaking the rules is just extending the rules sometimes there are no rules and um she always writes a little bit of detail on the back as well. I have actually grabbed a couple of her recommendations um, and they're great. This next one is Lucy Gilmore's The Lonely Hearts Book Club. I've heard of this actually, but I haven't read it. Hearing Sloane and Arthur talk about books was like listening to a song in another language. The message didn't always make it through, but that didn't mean I couldn't appreciate the melody. Uh, this one is a comfort book recommendation. Okay, cool. Um, I'm trying to read more. Like I used to read all the time. I think uh, reading for study kind of ruined reading for me for a little bit. Um, but I really want to get back to it. Okay, I need to move that because it's too cute and I'll have a look in a minute. So these are her good words for later. I love all these little envelopes and things. Oh, look at this background. It's so cute. Don't let what worries you outweigh what brings you joy. I love those little flowers. They're so cute. Dear friend, there's no need to pretend we don't worry or fret, but part of being human is also joy and delight. So do both. Let the joy surprise you more often than you planned. 
Oh, that's lovely. Okay, now we have some stickers. These are called Ticket to Hope. Look at these little tickets. They're so cute. Plant and pick, to play and pause, to stay home, to look closer, take your time, uh, get lost for a while, sit for a bit, look up and look in, and reach out. These are cute. Put these in your journal for when you're doing any of those things. Oh, they're adorable. Love those little illustrations. This is beautiful. Oh, they're great. Love it. Some people could look at a mud puddle and see an ocean with ships. <laughs> Yeah, I love that uh, optimism, hey? That's very sweet. Oh, this month's card is X. I love the rainbows. So, Xenial, of relating to or con constituting hospitality or relations between host and guest. It is simple to be Xenial. Is that how you pronounce it, I wonder? Xenial? Welcome others, especially strangers or guests, and make them feel at home. And the other one is Xenochrist, a crystal foreign to the rock in which it occurs. May we always value what makes us unique in a crowd by championing our xenocristic nature. And that's Brandy's own quote. Mm, how interesting having the X this, this time. Look at these fountain pens. As scribes of our generation, we are called to remember what matters. That's nice for the beginning of a journal, isn't it? And this is a postcard. Another postcard, you are so weird and wonderful and it's kind of the best thing. <laughs> That's great. We have come sit for a bit. I won't read the rest of it. Um, you can if you wish. That's really nice, super lovely. And then the last um, postcard is this one that says, let your heart run wild, wild with this beautiful field of poppies. So pretty. And then lastly, we have this kind of journal card. I don't know what we call these actually. It says, be patient with your process with this beautiful watercolor background. Not really watercolor, is it? It's kind of an acrylic paint background. Love it. Brandy, you've done it again. All these beautiful things. Okay, there we go. There's our extravagant hope mailer this month. This is the July one. Um, beautiful as usual. I, I use all these bits and pieces. I kind of um, package them up in types, like I put all the stickers together, then I put all the postcards together and all these little bits and pieces together and then I kind of pull what I need when I need it for about my various um, journaling endeavours or crafty bits. So yeah, I really love them. It's beautiful. Thanks Brandy, you're the best. You know that already. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this quick little unboxing. I really did. Um, it's beautiful. She speaks to me. Okay. I'll see you soon. Bye.